So we've got this Kelly Ryan bagger and uh, it bridges up over the rotor. So when haylage is a little bit wet, uh, it doesn't feed quite as well as we'd like it to. So it bridges up and we uh, there's a, a cure for that, that a lot of the newer Kelly Ryan baggers have a what's called a beater bar. It's a hydraulically driven beater bar. And that just rotates to help uh, level out the feed as it's going into the rotor and it helps push it down into the rotor. So we're gonna add one of those to our Kelly Ryan bagger here over the next day here, hopefully. So we're getting ready to chop hay and our bagger works fine, but it does not have the beater bar in it. And that helps level out the haylage and it does cause some problems for us for feeding. So we are gonna try to put a beater bar in it and it requires us to remove this end panel here. So that's the first step. So here's the new beater bar we got. The end panel is out. We got some instructions of exactly where to cut the end panel and where to mount it. So this is what it looks like without the end panel on. So we got the holes drilled and the bolts in on this side. We got it leveled and measured front to back. And we got one hole drilled on the back side, but it's kind of slow going. Use a smaller bit and then when we use a half inch bit to go through and my bit's getting dull so I'll have to sharpen it up here so anyway we're, it's probably taking me about an hour so far and this is how far we are okay so we used a angle grinder to cut with a chop, cut, cut off blade to cut a groove in there so it sits down right where the bearing holder is okay so we finally got <clears throat> the bearings mounted we had to slide the shaft over quite a bit you can see there on the inside to get the lovejoy to line up properly and then there was paint on here and it wouldn't slide through that groove so we ground off all the paint and we got her mounted tightened down and now we're just going to start hooking up all the hydraulics and the gauges that way we can run it and we did have to cut a groove out of this side to make everything line up show that on the instructions but it did have to be done so that's the way she looks so far so good got another hour in it this morning here about hour and a half messing around all right we got her all put together We're running it just testing it everything seems to be working okay See how it looks when we get our full of silage. It continues to work well. Spread out the feed. All right, we got the beater bar in. You can see there's this big blue uh, piece of metal up here, shield that was helping block the feed coming in because it didn't have that bracket up there. So we, the, it's must have been a little older than they put that original red bracket on. So I made a bracket for it and a couple pieces of angle iron welded together and well added that to the bagger so we can take this big blue thing off to help from feed not from feed overflowing the front here especially when it's not perfectly level so we added that and then this bearing was out so we put a new bearing on there and I saw the uh, conveyor the side here was hit too many times by chopper boxes. So I went down and re-tack welded that on. So, and oiled everything up good. And now we should be ready to go put some silage through her, haylage through her. After we bought it probably 10 years or eight years ago, something like that. So really hasn't, we had to replace the rotor bearing one time in it. Uh, that was a big deal. And other than that, uh, you can see that this conveyor got hit once and bent this, so I straightened that out and rebolted it on. Just kind of a bunch of stuff that's gotten neglected. So spent a couple days messing around with it, and now we should be ready to go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below. And if you want to see more videos like this come up in your feed, please subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to find out when our next video comes out every week, hit that notification bell below and that'll send you a notification when our next video comes out, which we try to send them out every week. Thanks a lot for learning more about our farm, and we sure appreciate it.